Good afternoon. Uh, so just over a month since I last did a post. Uh, weather's been atrocious in that last month. We've had terrible winds, uh, named storm after another, one after another. Uh, I've had a little bit of damage in the greenhouse, which I've temporarily repaired, but it'll have to be done properly during the summer. I hope everyone else has been safe throughout that wind. It's been quite bad. I've tried to put two or three posts on, but I'll be honest, my phone's getting a bit old. I need a new battery in it, um, so I'll probably get a new phone. It's going dead fairly quickly. I hope I get through this video, but I'm going to make it a short one. Uh, I've had a few questions over the last few weeks. First one, um, the final potting mixture, which I'm now starting to move up into. Uh, I'm on one bag of 75 litre professional clover compost and two bags of clover joninus number two. Uh, for my own plants, I am adding two ounces of Terra Plus into that particular mix. And my own plants are being potted up in that. I am testing mycorrhizas this year, and I have put mycorrhiza in most of the um, plants that I am potting up. But we'll have a look at that in a moment. Number two, I've been asked, uh, Ian's asked me about the height for foliage supports once you get into the trench for the blanch leaks. I do use supports right throughout the trench. Ian, I've measured up the bottom run of my uh, supports are on 45 centimetres and then every 10 centimetres thereafter I raise the, the bar and I have about five bars go on. So I'm not saying I put all five on but I maybe put three on and we can raise them as and when we want them. Uh, number three, colouring the blanch leaks. Uh, I always wait until mine are almost as thick as my little finger, a bit like a sharpie pen, as thick as a sharpie pen and then put the colours on. We'll take a look because I have started to colour some. So we'll take a look at those. And I'll show you what I use for colouring. Uh, number four. Uh, spraying the plants. You keep a regular spray. At the moment what I am doing, I'm putting... Um, I'm using the Primtal, the fungicide. There's, there's three different types. There's a fungicide, a white fly and a red spider. And uh, they are biological. I am using those. If I got out of control with insects then obviously I would use something stronger uh, the only other thing I would possibly use uh, as I say if I needed to would be the signum that's the fungicide uh, so that's the sprays um, I'm now moving as I say I am moving up into five litre pots my arms aching there uh, right this month first of March so this month uh, will see me start to clean up my stock plants they haven't been touched at all throughout the winter I've virtually not watered them at all, unless they've looked a little bit on the sad side. Uh, just about a week ago, I checked on the Blanche League seedlings, and they were looking a little bit sad. So I give them a water, and I actually cut the tops off them, because they've actually started to knit together. Um, when I go down this week, I'll check to see if they've started to show new signs of growth. You can cut the tops off at the moment, because there won't be any seed heads there. But certainly in the next six to eight weeks, the, the seed heads will start to appear, and it'll be too late to do that. But I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll uh, take a little look at what's going on in the greenhouse. Right, uh, these are Blanche Leaks. Uh, I've got my own selected out, but this is what's left over. And as you can see, just about as thick as my finger. Uh, different types here, RMG. As you can see, they're, they're about similar size to my finger, so they are ready now to have their, their collars put on. So we'll move around the other side. I've still got one light on. Uh, it's just a T5. And it's basically, I've set a few tomatoes away now. Uh, they're coming with they're mazy. And uh, I have a few peppers set in different places. So we just keep moving this around. Right. Um, here we have a batch of leeks that I'm growing for intermediates. These were very, very late set. And this is um, Mick Cook's Blanche Leak. It is the one which is difficult to pull up for length, so I will probably leave these as intermediates. They've only just been potted up into, these are one and a half litre pots. And I'm quite pleased with those, they're looking quite nice. Right, we move on to a batch of Blanche Leaks in here. These are Pendle, and as you can see, these are a little bit thicker than my thumb, uh, than my finger. They're a lovely colour, nice and clean, but I have started to incorporate collars on. What I do, it's a 9 inch collar, uh, just made out of pipe lagging, and this is 22mm pipe lagging. 
to be honest i could do with some larger ones for the the larger plants so i'll probably move the next one up <clears throat> what i do i always put a split cane in at the back here you can see the split cane and then you use some of the little plant plastic clips just to hold the foliage up until you get your base um collar on this is just split down one side and put around the plant so they are nine inch collars and uh, it won't take very long before those plants reach up to the top of that collar when they do i start increasing the collar length by three inches each time moving along uh this is a, bot a batch of uh, quality onions which i set a bit later but i have had a little bit of light uh, growing very nice there's no light on here now uh, they haven't had light for quite a while this is the uh, batch from pips some of mark rayner's pips two well one and a half rows some of chris evans pips they look nice and that's some of my own seed and i'm quite pleased with that uh, still pushing centers out again no lights but they're up in five liter pots they are ready to be moved into something a bit bigger these are the heavyweight leaks uh, five blue five dn1 and five betty black they're looking quite good one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen foliage on uh, some of the bigger ones maybe moving on to a batch which hasn't had lights these are all probably going to be my main batch for exhibition for september uh, all the orange labels at this end are all the dn2 they're looking very nice just a little bit thicker than my little finger and i'm quite happy with that moving on to virus free again pushing size about my little finger beautiful colored foliage uh, they're looking very nice i have got collars on these because it is a cumbrian and it is a short leak uh, they're looking long at the moment because they've actually stepped up above the collar but as they start to grow i'll show you some as to what happens to them these are virus free without collars and again some of these are almost four inches long uh, could be worrying but it is a cumbrian and i'm not so much worried dn1s again they're stepping up because we haven't had good light levels and i've had a lot of people saying that their own leaks are stepping up as well uh, light levels haven't been great we are starting to get some sh sunshine now and it is hitting the greenhouse and it's made a massive difference to the plants they're all beautiful and clean so i'm happy with everything right these are a few um, gsn i'm trying micro jordan in there which is a mycorrhiza and as you can see on the top tiny little bit of fungi growing that's from the uh, terra plus a few more late set quality onions right we're onto a batch of leeks here these are the dn1 they look very nice uh, these were slightly later than the ones further along the road there they haven't had as much light but they are flying as the, the light the sunlight is naturally hitting this end of the greenhouse at the moment so they're growing very well well pleased with them dn2 this end again they look very good i'm quite pleased with them color is very nice on them uh, no complaints at all moving around on this side uh, these are virus free that we're looking at not a lot of space in here and i've got them crammed in um, but these again this has uh, these have got micro jordan in this is the virus free plants and these were fairly long but they have split and dropped back themselves they just stood around the two inches at the present moment in length beautiful foliage nice wide flags and they are looking very nice i'm pleased with them then i had a new seedling which you heard me mention uh seedling from the gsn it resembled a cumbrian in my opinion possibly better quality even than the Cum cumbrian uh, they're growing very well this little batch here they're only in three liter pots these have only been potted up a week or so uh, these only had seven days on the lights and they're growing very well nice broad flag again on it as we can see i'll move around and show you some larger ones oh these ones are from the laboratories uh, these are virus free and these are plants that i got from the laboratory and they have had two weeks on the growth cabinet at the far end but they are growing very well as you can see little bit marking on them from the early stages but that'll grow out uh, a few pender blanche leaks i think they're too big so they're not getting colored they'll be grown as intermediates i i only have seven and then we move back onto the uh what i'm classing as the new cumbrian i'll just lift one off here and see if we can take a, a look beautiful looking leak 
well pleased with it lovely foliage um, it's looking the part at the moment these have been potted up about two weeks and they're up in a five litre pot so I'm quite pleased with the leeks at the moment everything seems to be growing well um, virtually everything in here is for myself and for stock plants for future years so any questions don't hesitate to get in touch um, ping me a letter through or you know put a message through on uh, on YouTube and we'll answer as quickly as we can now just a, a quick one to let anyone know about the Northeast Horticultural Society's annual general meeting we are holding it on the 13th of March which is a week on March and it's held in Stanley Civic Centre well Stanley Civic Hall sorry uh, 9.30 in the morning um, it'll be on an hour to two hours so turn up if you can please it's nice to see everybody uh, apart from that I am planning on a visit up to Peter Kerry's garden tomorrow a couple of pals have asked for a look up and Peter's uh, agreed that we can go up and do a small video on his garden so we'll look at the progress in his greenhouse as well excellent he's also going to mention a new show uh, a new class in a show anyway an existing show Great to see everyone. Thanks a lot now. Bye-bye.